Here's how you can bike to the doctor's office in the middle of a Canadian winter. Check the weather, get dressed accordingly, make sure you don't overdress. I only got away with this many layers because I have an e-bike. Pack your pannier, don't use a backpack because you'll overheat. But I still overheated during this negative three degree trip. A lot of people assume you get cold when biking in the winter, but you actually get super hot. Fun fact, e-bikes help you regulate your temperature almost like a built-in air conditioner. Depending on how well your city plows its streets, you'll have varying levels of success navigating snow. Actually, snert's the worst combination of dirt and snow. Even with one of my chonky front studded tires, which does amazingly well on ice, snert still sucks. Luckily for me, this snerty road is only about 5% of my trip, and I quickly hit up the cheap side bike lane that takes me almost all the way to my destination. Now, unfortunately, this bike gutter does end abruptly as you pass Adelaide, but the good news is that it's in fake London's city plans to extend the bike lane. Yay to not being mowed down by inattentive drivers!